What are the signs that a man is low value? Because women, queens, listen up. You need to find a man that's on your level. Don't find any dusty ass broke boys. I know, I know math is hard when you're an idiot, but... Uh... Like, if you're a broke boy, just say so. Oh, hi. Yeah. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. Let's see what this freaking generic-ass, basic, blonde, American, white woman who looks like she's used, she has lip filler, says about this. So the seven signs he's a low-value man, get out. Get out! My dear elegant ladies, now, there might be seven signs that you are dating a loser. Okay, when I say loser, I don't necessarily mean a loser. To tell you the truth, low quality man was too long to write in the title. So let's keep it simple by just calling him a loser today. But in re- Doesn't sound American. Western? Western woman? Hmm. That in itself is a red flag, so we got our first tally, boy. In reality, I'm really referring to any form of man that might not be worthy of your time, your effort, and your love whatsoever. Sadly, in our society, a lot of women are being desperate, a lot of women are wasting too much time on the wrong type of man, and in this video, we are stopping with that behavior as of right now. Now, before we start with point number one, you need to be aware that, of course, there might be some things that are going to sound like the partner you are with right now. I'm not telling you to leave him, but I'm telling you that maybe you should start thinking about setting boundaries and your own self-worth. Now let's dive into sign number one. You're dating a loser if he expects you to go 50-50 in the relationship with him or if he wants to split the bill with you. Now I'm not going to go too deep on this subject because I've already spoken so much on this subject on my channel why I believe men should pay more than women in a relationship. But this is all bound to the fact that society is not equal for men and women. First of all, we are not 100% equals and we can never become equals simply because biologically we are not built equally, okay? Men have a certain advantage, biologically speaking, than women. Whilst women, because, you know, we are the, <laughs> we're the caretakers, we're the ones who carry the child, etc., we might never have the same equal opportunity to make the same career, to make the same same amount of money etc plus as you know on the job market women tend to earn less than men you know on average it's just a sad reality <laughs> hear it from this lady herself right women are inferior to men i guess therefore men have to front the bill huge red flag guys let's add that to the tally uh this woman is entitled and expects you to give them money because of their biological purpose or the the, the role that they serve in life right childbearing so if you're on a date with a girl and you offer to split the bill and she's just like, that makes you low value because you have to buy me stuff. Entitlement, self-absorbed, narcissism, yucky, yucky, poo poo. Because I'm the female, right? I'm, we're not equal, but I wanna be viewed as equal according to this lady. So therefore you have to like balance it. You have to uh, apply equity and you have to make up for my shortcomings as a woman. Hmm, take it from her. She's the one that says you're, uh, you're inferior, girls. She also sounds pretty bitter. I sound pretty bitter, but. My bitter com bitterness comes from the honesty. This person's bitterness probably seems to come from their, uh, their shitty experiences. Use less makeup. That's my advice to her. <laughs> also, like, if you want to be seen as equal, maybe you should, like, stop demanding stuff from the dudes that you're with. Uh, I know that's a disgusting concept for, for like, because, you know, egalitarianism is very disgusting, right? Especially for when you're coming from a, a girl's perspective like this. This girl's perspective. Not all women are like this, but unfortunately a good amount of them, especially in a place like this, America, which I don't know where the fuck she is. Point is, she's from a Western country. There you go. Red flag. Let's add another one, right? She's a Western woman. That's, that's a sign of a low-value woman. <laughs> even though of course things are changing. But not only that, women also have different types of expenses than men simply because they are women. We actually have to spend more to keep ourselves attractive. And of course we are attractive because men want us to be attractive. Women- Shut the hell up. The, uh, yes, I, I get my hair done and I use makeup to mask the way that I actually look instead of just being attractive naturally. And that's on you. That's an expense you should take care of because men don't groom themselves. Men don't buy their own clothes. Men, they have to front the bill, they have to buy their own clothes and cologne to make themselves look good, and they have to buy the stuff to make the woman look good, because she's, she's a prop? She's an object of vanity? Is that, is that your argument? Hmm. I'm not sure where you're coming from. Feel free to disagree with me, right? Because, you know, most people are sexist, prejudiced pieces of shit, just like this lady. So, um, that's okay. Leave your dumbass piece of shit comment explaining your, your backwards mindset and, um, 
Have a discussion in the comment section. Give me engagement. Women spend more on clothes than men. Women spend more on sanitary products than men. Women spend more on beauty products than men, etc., etc. Yeah, keep listing them as if that makes your, your argument more valid. We spend money to make ourselves look good, so you have to give us money to afford that because we're doing it for... So, actually, another one. If we're actually taking this logic into account, are you doing it for the man? Are you, are you saying that you dress up and make yourself look good for the dude, for other men, so that they can approach you? I thought you were a strong, independent queen. I thought you just did it because you like doing it. Hmm. It's, it's crazy. It's kind of just all around the place. On one hand, you're strong and independent, and you don't need no man, and you're awesome. But on the other hand, a man has to do all this stuff for you because you're doing it all for him. Oh, right, you just flip-flop when it just conveniences you, right? Okay. At least, at least you know. <laughs> Sorry. So if he wants to go 50-50 in the relationship, that just simply shows that he doesn't want to step into this masculine role. Plus, he is not a provider and he might not even be generous. So I don't know if those are the qualities that you want to work with in this relationship. I'm not forcing this upon you if you are fine with... Gross. <laughs> Seven signs she's a low-value woman. Just listen to the garbage coming out of this woman, this woman's mouth. Wow. He's not generous, he's not a provider, he's not masculine, even though I'm a queen, yes, yes, I'm an independent, strong woman, I don't need no man, but I want a man to provide for me. You dusty ass man, you're not paying for me, giving me your money, you, you owe me, 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 entitlement, narcissism, gross, basic white bitch. <laughs> Looks like your, your lips need a little bit, uh, need a top off on the filler. Boy, well, you need a man to pay uh, your expenses for the medical bill? They didn't ask you to get that BBL. <laughs> Makes you look worse. <laughs> ah. With this, then that's absolutely okay. No hard feelings from my end. But I'm just here to tell you that it's okay as a woman to expect that the man has to pull some financial load a bit more than the woman in the relationship. Sign number two, that you are dating a loser. <laughs> and that is if he makes you feel weird or crazy or a psychopath or clingy, if you want commitment from him. And when I say commitment, ladies, I'm talking about being in a relationship. Are we an item? Are we not? Or let's say you want to have an engagement or let's say you want marriage or you want kids, etc. There are so many more entitlement, more narcissism. Notice how all the things that it's want, want, want. What can you do for me? I want you to, to pay for me and to provide for me, but I also want you to tie yourself to me and so that you have to specifically do stuff for me. Me, me, want, you do stuff for me. You're not good enough for me if you don't meet these standards in a, and these standards that I place are based off of how much you can afford for me. Gross, yucky, yucky. It, was lip filler not the only thing you got? Face is a little bit too gem-like. Ah, oh, gross. Another one. Uh, another red flag. Entitlement, which kind of plays into the first one, right? Expecting you to do everything for them, like with money, and also expecting them, expecting you to tie yourself to them so that you can benefit them, right? Engagement, money that they're probably going to expect from you if you take into account the first uh, sign, right? You have to pay for that. Marriage, also, you're probably going to have to pay for that. Oh, the kids, you're also going to have to pay for that, right? You're going to have to pay for everything. And, you, and if you don't meet those standards and if you like say that that's stupid, then you're just a low-value man. Maybe you're just a dusty-ass boy. If you're broke, say so. Just say it. So many men out there who paint the picture as if the woman is uh, this, the psycho who wants these things. That something is wrong with her. Like, like, stop pushing me type of thing. This is the thing. I'm not saying it should only be the way us women want it to be. If we want to give birth tomorrow, doesn't mean that that's fair, okay? But there has to be a way where we meet halfway. This is the disadvantage of being a woman. We can you meet me halfway? Buy me all the shit I want. You are not good enough for me. If you are broke, just say it. Yuck. <laughs> oh man, you aren't really missing out anything. If you're, well, okay, you're missing out on sex, sure. But again, then again, given the like degree of entitlement, like here, as a single lonely dude, right, you're missing out on one-sided sex. Clearly, if they're gonna expect you to commit to them, they're gonna expect you to give them money, they're also gonna expect you to make them feel good. <laughs> yeah, you don't get your nut in, but it's like, I can't even say you're dodging bullet, because dudes want that. They want intercourse, it's just in their biology. Is it worth it, given all this stupid shit that this, this idiot is saying? Is it worth it? You have to ask yourself that. 
why not just make a lot of money and then surround yourself with a bunch of options you can just passively discard here and there based on your 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 whim which is exactly what women like her the only thing is you have to put an effort to get yourself there she doesn't she has these things afforded to her that's why the i guess the entitlement the narcissism is coming also she's also saying women are inferior i guess or you're at a disadvantage oh i guess you just pick and choose based on what benefits you uh, whenever you feel it Cool. We have a body clock to think of. We can't just, you know, spend 10 years waiting for him to finish clubbing and then maybe, then he will decide if he wants to marry or not. But again, a little disclaimer, there are of course valid and reasonable situations when sometimes you do need to give a person a little bit of time, a little bit of space, but this is where I'm talking about, meet half ways. Don't let it just be how he wants it. Don't let it only be how you want it. It has to be an equal opportunity that's what yeah totally totally equal it's just you as the man have to afford me a bunch of stuff because i'm at a disadvantage therefore you owe this to me and if you can't meet that standard then you're just dusty in your low value that's that right uh, another red flag no self-awareness stay away this uh this is a uh, would be a garbage partner right here what we want sign number three that you're dating a loser if he is flaky ghosts you vanishes or is completely unreliable Oh, haven't we all met this type, ladies? Now, this is such a classic scenario, especially, you know, haven't we also met so many women who are like, oh, I love him so much. So she basically accepts that type of behavior or she puts up with it because, well, I don't really have anything better going on for myself. Uh, well, I kind of like this guy, you know? You see what I mean? There is no excuse for a man to be unreliable or flaky. I need to tell you one thing, that rule number one in dating is that if he doesn't keep his promises, if he's unreliable, if he ghosts you, then one time, okay, things happen. Second time, bye. Ladies, you don't... Okay, one like thing that this person like that's actually valid expecting these people to show up right about a man that you're interested in to show up and do the things that he says he does yes okay fair i mean not fair given all the other shit that you expect from him so i mean why would they not flake on you and be unreliable if you're just a fucking black hole parasite that's understandable but also on the other other side of that it's like if these are the guys that you're getting with and they're treating you like you're you're just another option that's accessible to them like that's not a thing that most most men have access to most men, because they've been lonely most of their time, their life, and they're, they're not a woman, so they're not going to have, like, all of their, like, experiences and relationships handed to them by men for, like, no little to no effort. So a lot of them, if they come across, like, a potential valuable prospect, they're probably going to hold on to that. And you'll probably find that to be disgusting, you know, it's just what a lot of women do. But, um, these women do. Remember, this is a, a Western woman. This is low value right there by itself. If that's what the guy's doing, then you're just bad at choosing dudes. Most men probably, if they if they are desperate and they are lonely and they want that, they're probably not going to treat it like it's just another thing. That means you're probably going after dudes who have options and have found a way to manipulate women and to get into their pants and to give them what they want, right? Because those are the ones that women, like, those are the men that women tend to reward while complaining about their bad behavior. Even though women are the ones that can choose whether or not they do or don't get with them because the guy's the one coming up to you with a proposition. You're not the ones doing that. You never have to do that. You just expect it from the men. That's the entitlement. So if these are the men that you have access, that you ha you know, you're acquiring and you're choosing to get with, then it's like, yeah, that's on you. It's, it's more so on the dude for being flaky, but it's like he found a way to manipulate you and you fell for it. Ugh, that grimy salesman got you to give, give him uh, your money. Yeah, it's more so on the salesman, but it's also kind of on you unfortunately so you don't deserve to be with somebody who cancels on you last minute for basically no reason or repeatedly doing this as part of his behavior i mean there are so many examples that i think we all have been through with flaky men and and men who simply gives us all these promises and then nothing ever happens all these promises came because actually he had an agenda he wanted to sleep would you get you in bed so that you would uh, give him what he wants before he delivers his fake promise yep and it works and you reward that and then you get kicked to the curb while disregarding all those dms you get from other men who would probably do those things for you that you could exploit. There's all sorts of men out there that you can take advantage of and siphon their, their livelihood and their, their well-being and their money from them. But you just don't want them because they don't just afford you that. They also don't make your, your, your Ghibli's tingle. So 
Yeah, maybe just don't be an idiot. <laughs> okay, I think I need to calm down a little bit now. <laughs> but this subject really fires me up. <laughs> like a firecracker. Let's just say exactly how it is. If a man is inconsistent, I really don't believe he's that into you. Like, okay, that's the cliche saying, but it really is that simple. A man who is into you, he is going to call you. He is going to make an effort. He is going to climb mountains and walk on seas in order to see you, even if it's a bit difficult right now. Yes, it's hard to meet high quality men. I get it because men are so spoiled today. It's, it's truly a challenge. But what's worth is settling for less. Dude, she has no self-awareness. Disgusting. Like, this is garbage. This person is garbage. And a lot of women are, are just like this. Just stay away from... I'm an American. She doesn't seem like she's an American. But she's Western, right? So the entitlement, the ego, the arrogance. Just stay away. Just don't date women like from, like, the Western world that have been, in it, it, like, indoctrinated to its garbage culture of, of ego and entitlement and narcissism. Like, try to find women from more traditional countries. It sucks, yes, it's either one way or the other, right? You gotta go to, like, every place that you go has its own bias in favor of one gender over the other. So as a dude, given what you would potentially encounter in this place that's incredibly biased in favor of women, go to a place that's biased in favor of men. Don't go to, like, Dubai or, like, the Middle East. That's, like, too far. <laughs> Those places are garbage. Go to, like, Asia. Go to, like, Latin America. Those places are way better. The women there are, are considerably higher quality and not as disgusting and entitled as this, right? This, this woman, she's getting fired up by these flaky men. You can tell that, like, this is what she's been through and she's chosen men that, that flake on her and just treat her as a prop because, you know, she is. She's presenting herself as a prop. I'm this thing that you have to do all this stuff for. I'm this, this, I'm a goddamn dog. I'm a pet that you buy and then you have to like feed them food and you have to take them out on walks and bring them to the groomers and stuff. It's, it's, it's disgusting. This is garbage. This isn't a relationship, what this person's offering. This person's offering like a fucking job. It's gross. Stay away. I mean, I'd rather be single than be with somebody who is really not up to the level that I think I deserve to be treated. Now, before we continue, I know it's a big challenge that we don't know where to meet men and where to meet the elites in general. So you know that I do have a cheat sheet with over 210 places of ideas and suggestions for you where you can actually go to meet men, to meet the elite, and simply make new connections. This is a free gift from me to you. Just simply go to millionaireplaces.com and download this free cheat sheet today. Now, sign number four, that you are dating a loser. And okay, before I say what it is that I'm about to say, I know that some of you ladies are going to have a partner like this. So my disclaimer is that this is just a cliche example. If he does some of these things, doesn't mean that he's a complete loser. Of course not. But Absolutely. Like, that's another fair thing to say. And the flip side for women is don't, like, date women like this who are entitled, egotistical, narcissistic, who only cares about their looks and what they can, like, provide in terms of, like, uh, well, not even provide, because this woman's not really providing anything other than, like, fulfilling a role and then having you meet their expectations so that they could do something that, that makes them feel good. Like, such as wanting a commitment, getting married, having kids, having a family, stuff that makes them feel good. Exactly the same thing. Like, this woman has no depth. <laughs> She's just expecting shit from you. And she also speaks, like, pretty slow and rather in a rather generic fashion, so I can see why she appeals to most, to a lot of the women in her, because she's got like a million, million subscribers. Just that, disregarding who this person is and all the other stupid shit they said, just that standard by itself, that's fair. Don't date people who lack depth. But remember, most people lack depth. Most people are just products of their environment. Most people don't have like intelligent thoughts going on in their brain. Most people, when they sit in a room by themselves, they don't commit any of that time to like intelligent, progressive, meaningful di inner dialogue. It's just distraction. And I guarantee you someone like her is no different. She's just here to siphon your attention and to get you to buy, buy them shit. Because you know there's this stereotype that women, or oftentimes, women can be airheads. Especially blonde women. So you know they say that a woman can easily be an airhead, a dumb bimbo, a blondie, you know, all of those horrible stereotypes. But come on, have you never heard about the fact that a man can equally be so, and the fact that actually, in this world, there are so many of them. Oh yes, I have met many of them. They even exist in high society, believe it or not. First of all, I think we can all say that it's not very... High society elite men. 
Ugh. Like, have lots of money. I gotta be rich. Gotta be all this stuff. I need a man that, that, ugh. Yuck. It's like bourgeoisie. If this were the 1800s and there were, or like, sorry, if this were like hundreds of years ago and there was a revolution, this would probably be one of the people in the king's castle that would get their head chopped off after the, 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 the gates get stormed. <laughs> She's like, why is this happening to me? I don't understand. <laughs> yep. It's not very attractive. I don't really know what you're going to have in common with each other. I do believe, though, that since you are here on this channel, you're probably very elegant and cultivated and have a brain going for yourself that you don't really want to be with somebody who is less intelligent than you. Just think about you're watching my content, you're probably awesome. You're probably a queen. You're probably very intelligent. Give me more attention and clicks and views and money. God. Insufferable. Think about what are you going to be talking to this man about for the rest of your life? Let's say you become married. I don't know. I think life is too short to waste with the wrong person. Make sure you find somebody you have things in common with. Sign number five, that you are dating a loser, and that is if he lacks any form of basic gentleman skills. And with gentleman skills, come on, I think this is very universal. We don't even really have to pay attention to cultures. I think that holding up the door for a woman rather than throwing it in her face is basic manners all men kind of know about, right? Or let's say, as an example, you're walking next to the man and it's a little bit chilly. You're wearing a short sleeve top or something like that and it's a little bit cold. And he doesn't offer to give his jacket to you. Oh, one of the things... Oh I my god, this... Oh, fucking garbage. Oh, gross. Yuck. <sighs> so much, like, arrogance. So much entitlement. You... Oh, it's like you just can't do anything for yourself. You're just an object. Oh, god. Hold the door for me. Give me your jacket when it's cold instead of me holding the door for myself or just bringing my own jacket or being an independent, strong woman. You're a gentleman. You're a man. You have to do stuff for me. Disgusting, man. This is a parasite. Like, what is a man paying for? Like, a, a goddamn surgery procedure? A, a fucking science experiment? Yuck, dude. Well, one of the things that I see a lot, and this I think you also know, is when the man is so nonchalant, doesn't really care about his woman, he walks in front of her, he doesn't even wait for her, doesn't even look back to see if she's still behind him. You know, so rude and not gentleman whatsoever. You know, small things like that that really shows if a, if a man is a gentleman. And you know, I, I recently spoke about uh, sex etiquette. When a man is selfish in bed, that's no gentleman. That's not nice, especially considering how physically we are structured where, again, the woman has a more tougher card to play with than the man. Anyway, ladies, that was just a few examples of uncultured behavior from non-gentlemen. Give me some more examples down below in the comment section. I will be reading them all. Sign number six. You're dating a loser if he starts manipulating you. Once you understand that, you know what? I need to set some boundaries in this relationship. I need to reclaim some unfairnesses that has been going on. So he starts saying that you're materialistic. You're the B word. You're a gold digger. Or who knows me? You are all of those things, given all the stupid shit you've said. <laughs> Dude, no self-awareness. This, this person sucks. They have a million subscribers on YouTube and all the dumbasses who like go in the comments. I was going to go and read some of them, but the video is already too long. And I, I don't want to sub my, subject myself to more of this goddamn garbage. Right? This is, this is stupid. This person sucks, man. Oh, man. <laughs> also, manipulating you? Why are you getting with guys who manipulate you? Oh, right, because those are the ones you like. <laughs> there's a lot, again, there's a lot of dudes out there who will give you so much. And, and for nothing in return, right? I mean, you're not going to give anything else in return. You're just a fucking, like, parasite, given all the, way, all the standards that you, you held to hold these people in this particular role in your life to. But it's like, you don't go after those. They're, they're the dusty, crusty men, right? They, they, they manifest all those other simp behaviors, but they just don't have any money to be able to buy your goddamn lip gloss. Or, or like, they're not doing enough for you. Gross. According to this woman, women are inferior. Therefore, they're allowed to be this mindless and grotesque, parasitic creatures that just suck your life force from you. 
See, I, I believe that everyone's equally worthless. Everyone's mindless, disgusting creatures. And we all just make up stupid shit, right? Humans are a worthless, disgusting, garbage species. So, like, when I see stuff like this, it's like, yeah, everything I'm saying is absolutely real. This is garbage, what we're witnessing, unfortunately. Maybe he says, be quiet, woman. Who do you think you are? Sit down or go to the kitchen, go back to your place. I mean, truly, you might think that I'm joking right now, but there are many men like that. I think it is a warning sign. If a man is uh, reacting aggressively, once you start setting fair boundaries, and when I say fair boundaries, because I know that it's hard to understand in the beginning, am I doing the right thing? Am I being too selfish now myself? Is this fair or not? But you really need to- Yes, you are being selfish and it's not fair towards the dude, but you don't give a shit about that. You, you use the excuse of, oh, I'm at a disadvantage because I'm a woman because of biology, so therefore you have to do all this stuff for me and I can expect so from you. But if you try to push back in any 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 capacity, you're a dusty, low-value man. You need to trust the situation, and you, of course, can take some advice from your surroundings as well. But if you are setting fair boundaries where you are not being too selfish now you, it's not just about what you want. It's about meeting halfway. That oh, excuse me? Meeting halfway? Your first fucking low-value sign was if a dude meets you halfway. Don't split 50-50, buy me shit, do stuff for me, be a gentleman, afford me stuff, don't commit to me, 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 me. But if he pushes back and tries to meet halfway, you're up there, no, we're, too, we're equal here. Oh my God, oh God, oh shit, <laughs> oh no, oh God. Yeah, this video is, if you want to see what a low value woman is like, just watch this video and listen to this, this dumb bitch, because she is stupid, this is gross. That's what boundaries is all about. And the man reacts very harshly, very crazily. I think you need to be a little bit cautious of what you're dealing with because potentially this could be a man that you should be stepping away from. There are men who are just narcissistic, selfish, or too defensive, or lack ability to do any form of change within themselves. Now, I don't know- You just described everything that you are. What are you talking about? All these low value men that you, you propose, like, they're perfect for you. You're all of those things. So find a guy that's on your level of, of garbage. Garbage should me with garbage. Like that, that, that seems like perfect unity in the universe, right? Dude, all of these signs, man, you got to take it to heart, lady. You got to take it to heart, Anna. You got, you got to manifest that garbage. I mean, you already have manifested the garbage because you are garbage. So find another man who's on your level. Like you've already run into a few of them. You just threw them away. Because, the, you know, that's the thing about being garbage. It stinks. And when you're around it, you kind of go like, ugh, ugh. You're a perfect example of that. I don't know if that's worth to build a future with. So that could potentially be a situation where you have to choose yourself and choose your own needs first. Because believe me, there are men who are willing to meet you halfway, who are fine with certain boundaries in a relationship and who are not expecting you to be a doormat or to do everything for him or to be it all about the way he wants things to be. You just said it yourself. <laughs> and by halfway, you mean do everything for you and to not give anything in return. Just expect shit from men. Yuck. No self-awareness. Yeah. It sucks. Like, look how big her house is. It seems like she lives in a nice house. It sucks that people like this live the life that they do. They don't, they don't deserve it. This is garbage. Be careful, ladies. Sign number seven, and the last sign that you are dating a loser. And that is, if you are in a serious committed relationship with somebody who is still partying all night long, every weekend, and cannot be without, he's clubbing with the boys pretty much every weekend. Now, okay, one thing is if, let's say you are 19 years old, both of you, or <laughs> you are also in that type of lifestyle. But for anybody who is kind of, I don't know, in their 30s and up, Maybe even late 20s as well, I don't know. It's hard to put labels, but I think you all can understand where I'm maneuvering here. The whole point is, if he's in a serious committed relationship, why does he still need to be partying every weekend, every Friday, every Saturday, all night long? And especially without you. Okay, if you do that together as a couple because you love to have fun, you love to drink, you love to dance, whatever. But if he has such a strong need to be Mr. Party Boy, and I don't really know what you're doing. All right, yeah, we don't gotta rush the rest. We know exactly what she's gonna say. Um, last one, say the same towards women, but I don't agree with that. 
not gonna hold, not gonna tell you what you can and can't do. Granted, I'm never gonna be in a relationship with people because there's so many people like this. And again, relationships are mindless nonsense. People just make up stupid bullshit. Fucking example A. Um, how about shut up? Mm. Do the things that you want to do. Quit expecting shit from other people, especially based on their gender. How about just have a, a relationship based on substance and, and, and the quality of the other person instead of just them fulfilling a role and doing shit for you? But, you know, that's, that's requesting way too much for humans. Humans are mindless, disgusting animals, so we can't really do what's right. We're just going to do stuff based on our feelings. So, yeah, um, what a stupid video. What a stupid person. Oh, nearly 2 million subscribers. Great. And a lot of, and a lot of people who support this person are fucking stupid. So, um, wow, look at those. Look at all these things she's selling. She's selling cotton shirts for up to $300. Holy shit. All of these are at least $300. Oh, man. Yeah. Ugh. Gross. This is sewage. This person is sewage. Stuff they say is mindless garbage. And if stuff are, and if you come across a woman who's saying stuff like this, go do all the things to them that they don't want you to do so that you can get, so you, you can exploit them and, and take advantage and get some sex or something and then just ditch them, discard them, throw them in the dust so that they can become bitter and old and, and grotesque and they can never find the thing that they're looking for so that they have to have, hit, have reality hit them hard in the face. <laughs> so to all the dudes that got with this girl, good on you. You, 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 got, you got some use out of her and then you threw her in the trash where she belongs. So um, <laughs> watch out dudes, don't date women like this. And in general, I'd say just don't date a lot of Western women. Uh, there's a lot of garbage out there. And a lot of women are this entitled and egotistical. So yeah, get your own, get your bag, live your life, be happy, do what you want. You got it, kings.